Jamie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show another holiday design that I'm going to do on this glass bottle. I have already gone ahead and base coated it with wicker white and with engine red. I'm also going to be using these two colors in my design. I used a seafoam sponge. You wet it or if it's not, if it's, if it's soft you don't need to. And then you just dip it in and just pounce it around until you get, get the coverage. The reason why I decided to do this is because I'm going to put a light in it, so I really want the light to shine through. I probably will be doing some solid color bottles, but I'm trying to do a lot of bottles that I can actually add lights to for ambiance lighting or night lights, that kind of thing. So, with that being said, the other colors I'm using are Thicket, Classic Green, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, School Bus Yellow, did I say this one? I'm not sure. Gold. All of these are folk art paints, a combination of enamels and multi-surface. And then I'm going to be using three A Magic paint brushes, a number, look at that, so full of paint, number four, number six, and I think this is a number eight, number eight or ten, but I really can't, oh it's a ten, I'm sorry, it's a ten. And then I'm going to be using my fine liner Westonia nail brush, clay ball maker to make some dots with, and my dotting stylus. All of these products, I've provided links down below, which are affiliate links. You're more than welcome to take a look at those and purchase these items through those links if you'd like. And let's go ahead and get ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the smallest of the brushes, which is the number four. I'm going to do a, I guess... Like maybe a vine or a branch, however you want to, however you want to describe it, around where the two colors meet. And if you are not familiar with my channel, I do do my designs on paper, just to have some idea what I'm going to paint before I start painting, so I'm not just blindly blindly doing it. And then I have to adjust based upon, you know, the item that I'm painting on. So, anyways, this is just real easy. You're just going to take your brush and then just kind of go around the bottle, come up, you know, keep loading, reloading. I'm using the Burnt Umber, the Burnt Sienna, all of these colors. And then just keep you know, adding paint as you go. If you get too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off on a paper towel and continue on. I'm going to bring some up in here because I'm going to just do kind of like pine needles. And then add a floral design to it. And I'm going to go both directions because I just want it to come in kind of like that. Kind of meet in the middle, per se. All right, here we go. And you can come down more into the bottle if you want, or go up the neck of the bottle, cross over. Just, you know, wave them around so that it's just not a straight branch or stick kind of look like that. Like I said, you want you want it so that you have just kind of going in different directions. Just to all right. So I got the the uh, the branch. Oops, I'm sorry. The branchy part painted in, and you can always you know add to it if you need to once you come in with the greenery. So basically, I'm just going to go around in certain spots and just pull in. You know, you can do long strokes, short strokes. But I'm just going to pull in what would be kind of like a you know, pine pine needle type branches. Fill it in. And you don't have to do it all the way around because I'm going to paint flowers too. 
I'm going to try and make sure I keep on the screen. Sorry if I float it off. And then this part, you can actually turn your brush around, add some gold to it if you want. Now I do have a little bit of white. The two different colors of green in here. Just very simple. Very, very simple. And then you just come up in here. And you can add other, other types of leaves too if you choose. And if you put light pressure on your brush, that is going to create thinner little, um, little uh, leaves. If you push down, it's going to obviously make them a little bigger. But anyhow, you're going to go like that, just all the way around the bottle. can make them overlap if you want because as I say in nature you're not going to have everything lined up and perfectly separated and again you can you know turn the bottle because you get it's, they're going all different directions so you can turn the bottle so that some of the branches are just coming down into meeting into the ones that are already painted. Very simple. Now my my channel, that's what I try to do is just create very simple designs that anybody can paint. Alright, so so far this is what I've got. Just got like the top has a little bit of the greenery coming up this, the neck of the bottle and going down somewhat into the bottom of the bottle. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my brush and I'll show you again with the way my camera is set up. I don't have a lot of space to include my uh, plate, but I'm going to do it with the classic green because it's a little bit lighter green. It's more of the Christmassy green. And then just keep blending it in to get my bristles good and covered. And if you want, you know, oops, did the wrong side on that one. If you want, you can add, you know, other colors. You can add this, the thicket green in there if you want to have a couple different greens. But I'm just going to have the classic green and the or, or the uh, wicker white. I did actually go ahead and I hit this with a hair dryer, or I'm sorry, heat gun, so that I can go over it. Hopefully, well, it, it's still going to be wet, but it's not going to be as wet. All right, so this is going to be you know just another one of my basic kind of wiggle wiggle leaves or wiggle petals and I might just go back over it again like that come in here and then just keep going don't make them too big on my on my paper I did them did a pretty good size flower and I'm just going to come up and down come around and you can go over it like I said if you want to make the outer part a little bit wider you can if you want to come in and even maybe even do some some turning of the, the leaf or the petal. I don't like you calling the leaf. Sorry about that. Of the petal of the flower, you can do that as well. I went ahead and just added a little bit more green here, and then go like that. And then I want to let's see here. I'm trying to keep these to where. I don't, I'm, I'm always worried about touching my design. Let me see here. Maybe I can grab the bottom. That would be, that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, so here we go. And I am just going over each petal that I've, that I've painted. I'm layering the petals on top of them. Not spacing them out, just layering them. Like that. 
I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you try it, I'd love to see what you paint. I am probably going to be uh, doing some different social media sites here soon. So I'm going to have to make sure I change and start including those down in my videos. Alright, so I have one. That's just one. And then I kind of like to bring them so that they're not exactly the same level. You know, they're not stacked up right next to each other. If that makes sense. I mean, it's still next to each other, but it's a little bit lower. It comes down into more of the base of the bottle. Like that. And when you're done painting these, you can actually go over the leaves, like say maybe with a liner brush or something, to if you wanted it to be more white on the edges. Or you can just take your brush that you were using and just go along the edge. However you want to do it. And as far as the petals go, I I'm not putting a certain amount of petals on the each flower. It's whatever I can fit. Because as I mentioned, you know, I do kind of just randomly put these on here. I do them on paper before I do my designs on my surfaces. But those papers are different sizes than what I have to work with. So once I get onto my surface, then I just adjust it based upon what I'm painting at the time. There you go. And then I think on this one, I'm going to throw one more flower petal. And again, just, you know, for the purpose of doing the videos, I I just try to create easy designs that just about anybody could do. I don't want to make them too hard. Alright, so let me see where I'm at here because I know eventually I'm going to get into running out of space. So the next one I might just kind of bring it up here a little bit into the neck. Bring it back down and I can make my petals thicker or wider. Doesn't really matter. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm painting and keeping it on the screen at the same time. <laughs> I'm not always good at that. Not always good at that. And you could do partial flowers. You can put in some uh, buds to where they're not all open. But on this design, I, I just wanted to go ahead and, and keep them open. You have an opening in the center. Just take your brush and kind of just lightly go over it. The one thing nice about having this base coated and then painting on top is that your paint, you know, you get better coverage. And you just have to keep in mind that the thicker your coverage is, the more durable your design is going to be. Just maybe add another petal. If I see the need to put another one in here, I can. I'll just overlap it, have it come out this way. 
you know, and all the effort that I put into the underneath vine, yes, I did. You know, you could always paint your flowers and then put the vines in or the, you know, the branches or whatever it is you're painting. You don't have to do what I did. It's like double, double painting, but it adds better, better coverage because it's thicker, right? And then I come up in here, just kind of smooth it out a little bit. That. And we'll just keep keep creating. Now once you get done with this, if you feel like sorry. I feel like I never can do a video without having a dark dog barking. This is fun to paint. I mean, can you see having your friends over? Gather your friends and and paint, 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 paint. I mean, with what I'm doing, you can still see the underneath. Just not as much at first. Or, you know, honestly, if you liked it without these flowers. I'm so sorry. My other dog is upstairs. I'm sure you probably can hear her. It's like a little kid. You get on the phone and all they want to do is scream for you. Okay, there we go with those. So let's just kind of take a look and see. Just very festive. And these aren't any particular flower. I mean, if you, you can call them whatever you want to call them, but it's not any particular flower. All right, so I'm going to take my little stylus, and I'm just going to dip it into the school bus yellow, and I'm going to come through and just put a lot of random dots. Very simple center. And I'll probably do a few colors. One thing nice about this design is I've actually gone all the way around the bottle. I normally just do the front. So if you're doing this kind of a bottle, going away and going around is quite simple. You go all the way around. And you could just stick it you know, with the this yellow and leave it at that. But I like to add a little bit of white into it. Especially on something like this, I think it gives it a little more interest. And we just keep going. Okay, so we have that, and then I think, you know, maybe adding a little bit of gold into it will help too, or be fun. Like I said, if you feel like it's getting too crammed, don't worry about it. Don't, don't, just stop whenever you want. The gold right now is really not being that obvious, but that's okay. Just a very full center. All right, done with that. So there we go. I think it's cute. Last thing I'm, well, the last part of the design is actually taking your clay ball and then you're going to come up and you're just going to put some, I guess I would call these berries. And you can put, you know, put them in sets of three. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, doesn't matter. Just whatever you want to do. 
put them close together, put them apart from each other. Again, it just whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you want to make them a little rounder, put more paint on them, go over them again. I think they're fun. And you can even have them coming down into, if you want to have them coming down into the base, the body of the, of your bottle, you can do that as well. And I'm going to come down here into this one. All right, let's do this. Then I'm going to take my fine liner. I'm almost done. Thanks for hanging out with me. And then what I do is just come in here very lightly and just put little stems. Because if these are berries or cherries or whatever it is you want to make them, then you can just add, put them in there and add them to you know, to your branches. You can add some extra little branches. Throw in some white here so you can see them better. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. If you like this video, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Again, I hope you feel like it's simple because that's really, truly how I want my designs to be. Just trying to encourage people to be creative have something to do when they gather with their friends. Yeah, it's just so, so important to me. All right, let's see where we're going to go here with these. We'll just bring them up like that. I love this brush. Just so easy to use. So yeah, you can just add like some little, like little twiggy kind of They're very easy, very light. You can do that with these. And there you go. Let's see if I got them all. Make sure. Oh, nope, did not. Got to come down here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And then here I just add a little bit of white to it, put a little bit of that sienna. Yeah, I apologize, she's right outside the door now barking. And you have it come out like that. You can pull them, or you can, you can pull them out, away from, or you can pull them towards you, however you want to do it. Either way will work. All right, I think we're done. I hope you like this. Once again, if you haven't done it already, please give me a big thumbs up if you like this. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, if you would share this on your social network with all your family and friends by hitting that share button underneath, it'll show you the different options that you have and go to it. Very simple. All right, until the next time, I do hope that you stay safe and healthy, and have a good one.